Hello and welcome to another special video review and today we've got the Plants vs. Zombie Transforming Robots Combiners version 2 <laughs> I guess <laughs> so yeah if you follow my videos I've already checked the very uh, first wave of uh, Plants vs. Zombies Transforming Combiners uh, they were a set of five this is like wave two and they're only a set of three but still combine and transform into individual robots and combines into a giant mecha so uh, yeah, uh, the, yeah, like I said, the first wave only ha had five uh, characters, and they all transformed from from uh, one vehicle to another vehicle from uh, the franchise, and then all combined into one uh, monstrosity. <laughs> And these ones uh, all have individual robots, so they don't transform into something else, uh, another vehicle from the franchise. They transform into their own unique uh, robots, and then they will all combine. So that's pretty cool. So right here we have the Sharktronic submarines. Uh, this is a really nice looking shark mode. And that one is also unique because it's the only one out of the three that has die cast. So the, the nose tip and the the two front teeth are in die cast. All the rest is plastic. All of them are plastic, and yeah, I uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of weird, but yeah, really cool. There's no articulation, or I guess we can close the mouth. But yeah, it's for transformation. So yeah, we have the doctor on top, looking really cool. So yeah, nothing here. We have the mecha football, and. Um, Zombie, uh, zombie mecha football, whatever. A really cool uh, giant uh, football helmet with legs. <laughs> and see, we with spikes in front. We have the zombie inside, which looks really cool. Nice decal of uh, uh, skulls and bones underneath. Looks really cool. We have articulation of the legs and the uh, feet. And that's pretty much it. A nice little antenna and it looks really uh, like exactly in the game I mean the, the shark I mean the uh, finish over here I guess like the blue part is the water but otherwise it looks exactly like the game this one I never seen in a game I'm not sure I haven't played too much I tried looking in line online what its name is but I don't know it kind of looks like the plant walker but with tentacles instead I never seen really that one in the game so if you know the name of it uh, tell me because uh uh, I have no idea. So yeah, it's just a pirate ship with the pirate zombie on it. And we have a cannon in front. And the cannon can be adjusted up and down. Like a really tight ratchet. We have the mask. The tentacle are, are all on ball joints. So they can flip, rotate, spin, left, right. All of them. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, we have the boots. <laughs> so uh, yeah, uh... I don't know, size comparison, here's Optimus Prime from Kingdom, it's a Voyager size, they are kind of big, so, yeah, let's uh, try and transform them, so, uh, alright, let's start with uh, this one, this one I think it's rather easy, so, uh, first off you need to unpeg the back, and bring the legs down like this, and bring the waist down, if you pull it, Bring it forward and it will snap like this. Bring the legs like this. Bring the legs straighten up like this. You can remove, whoops, you can remove the mass so you just unplug. And right here you have the feet. You open up the feet like this. So you have the legs all done. So let's bring the tentacle down a little bit out of the way. Next up you want to pull on the front. It's really freaking tight. But uh, yeah, you need to separate the gun, separate the front, and then rotate on the side like this, but you need to pull at the same time. So you pull and you open up like this. Then you rotate this, and then you bring the arms forward. So you can see the fists are here. So you have the cannon makes fists. You can push back. So, uh, rotate, bring this in, rotate the, oops, and yeah, it separates into 40 combinations, so don't do that. So we need to bring the arms like this, close this in, and voila, we have 
the robot pirate. Oh, you, you have the mask, you can plug it in one, either one of the pegs in the back. So there you go, we have the robot pirate boat. <laughs> And it looks okay. Uh, I, I don't like the fact that it's split so easy. It's like only two small pegs that hold the whole thing. But uh, yeah, it's okay. Arms can rotate. Uh, it can butterfly in. If you pull it, you can butterfly in. We do have elbow rotation here and the elbow joint with a super tight ratchet. Legs are on ball joint. Doesn't do the split too much. Can move forward like this. Backward like this. The knee bends more than 90 degrees and the feet are uh, articulated so they, they do tilt just uh, up and down and the toes are independent also so yeah kind of cool <laughs> oh, I forgot to show the instructions but yeah instructions uh yeah we do see the combiner mode right in front of the cover and it was surprisingly uh, it starts with the combination so it's kind of weird and you have to go further in here for the actual transformation of each individuals into robots so it's kind of odd but eh, okay and the instructions are pretty good didn't have any problem with them so yeah next up let's go with the uh what was it the shark submarine sharkatron or whatever oh, already forgot the name <laughs> so yeah this one you lift up the mouth like this and you split the blue parts here and you lift this up so yeah no don't pull it out just split it and bring it down rotate this around uh, like this I think yeah and then you bring this down rotate this pull bring this okay just rotate it like this so this is gonna be the legs so you have this formation now for the legs bring the yeah, small mouth down bring the uh, take the nose split it and pour it in half like this bring this part here on top like this bring the tab here bring the legs forward like this and this will tap here voila and then you have the nose tip that you split open, bring it down, and then you have a claw. So bring the nose tip down, flip it, open this up a little bit, and there you have the Sharkatron submarine into robot mode. <laughs> you can uh, flip this open like this, flip this, bring it down, so it looks a little bit better. Smooth camera like a little bit up because they are kind of big. So yeah, uh, this is the shark, Sharkatron submarine thingy. Uh, arms can swivel, can butterfly. Uh, we have uh, elbow sort of here. We have elbow joints here like this. We have the hand that can rotate like this. The thumb, uh, not much of the thigh. We do have legs that goes way forward, way backward. Uh, split, not so much. The heels can rotate, uh, nothing at the knees, the feet can flip up and down, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. A little bit limited, but yeah, it's okay. <laughs> and finally, we have the Mecha Football. Now, this one is a little bit complicated because there's a lot of stuff going on. So, uh, yeah, close these first. Um, open the mouth here and open this up. Uh, what you want to do you now is uh, open this up. Oh, yeah, this splits open. This will need to separate and lift forward so that you pass over. Oops, stay up. Stay up. Ah. Yeah, so yeah, like I said, you have to split the legs open and you have the character and you have to lift them up from the character clearing in out because otherwise uh, you can see when they're close it's like this and it encapsulates the character so the character is sort of caught so you flip this over like this you rotate this all the way around and you will plug it in here this will hold the torso bring the legs down bring the legs down so you have the feet bring the arms down bring the arms down and then you open up the door right here and you flip the character over, 
close this in, close this in, and this just unpegged. But there you go, we have the Mecha Football character all done. <laughs> and it looks pretty cool. Not my favorite again. Well, yeah, he, I really like the pirate one, but yeah, he's he, he pretty cool. The transformation is sort of complex, but uh, really cool. We have uh, not much at the head, but we do have the uh, zombie football guy. We have the ball joint at the arm, although the ball joint is very small. Nothing at the elbow. The uh, the hand can open, close, the clamp. Nothing at the waist. We do have legs that goes like this, knee bends, like this, and also outside with a really heavy hatchet. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> Again, comparison with Optimus Prime, the they now scale, you know. So, <laughs> football, the football one is like ball gear, ball gear and uh, about the same size, so, yeah. <laughs> and, yeah, maybe we can do the combiner mode now. Uh, whew, combiner is a little bit tougher, so uh, this one is really, rather easy, so you just close the clamp, bring him back. Close the clamp, bring him back, and then you have to open this up like this and bring the character in and close it back that's it he's done next up you want to take the shark and you pull on the legs and you have to uh, you have the blue uh, wheel thingy that stucks in so that's good come to the legs bring them back into mode like this and then you rotate it on the side like this so you have like the T thing like this. So close this in, rotate it like this, and then rotate it again like this. And now you have these T poles, the T bars that will slide in here. And voila, we have one boot done. And you have also a peg, kind of hard to see, but you have a peg right here that will plug it in. There you go. Oop. There you go. So same thing here. So slide this in, plug in the tab there you go so you have the boots all done and this one just unpegged voila next up you want to take this kind of easy bring the arms up and back like this like this uh, no you don't want you bring the um, shark fin in the back lift I mean, the arm straight like this, with the arm like this. So, kind of hugging itself in the back. And then you unplug this. And it's pretty much it. Just let it dangle in the back. I think we have to bring this down also. This can go up. Just cleaning it and cleaning this up. And voila. So, we have the torso mode done. And as for the part, very easy. Separate it like this. Bring this all the way around and bring the cannon in the back and close it no, like this. Close this and then spin this around and pretty much done. You know, same thing on the other side. Flip this, flip this, flip this. You know, like this looks better, I guess. Like this, and we're pretty much done. So we have the claws. And voila! So you have to take the torso right here, and you have like these two tabs right here that will tab into the shoulder parts right here. So uh, this just on pegs always. So yeah, come in here, tab this in, voila! And this is starting to get real big. So let's move the camera up higher. <laughs> All right, and as for the arms, you have, uh, blah, 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 I think it's that peg right here, that hole, that will plug into the tip right here. There you go. Same thing on the other side. And boom, voila. We have the Mega Combiner Boss thingy that I have no idea how it's called. <laughs> and it just looks another abomination. Uh, I, I love it. We have the... Uh, arm that rotates right here. We have elbow joints. We have the claws opens and close 
Uh, not much at the torso. The legs, again, it's the same as the footballer. So move uh, forward and back. We have knees and we have super ratchety that just breaks everything. <laughs> and yeah, the connection is not solid for the torso. So be careful with that. It's kind of hard to see also, but... uh. Uh, yeah, the boots fell off. <laughs> Mine, yeah, got one. Got two. All right, so there you go. The giant boss that I have no no idea what his name is. So he is pretty cool. He is an abomination, but it's pretty cool. And if we take a comparison, so let's put him aside a little bit, and we have the very first combiner from the first wave so this is was the set of five so yeah <laughs> they are both an abomination and i love this <laughs> they it's just pretty much anything like just the mass of modes mashed up together holding i mean that would, <laughs> it would be great to have those in the game i don't think they are i haven't played the game in a while but uh yeah i really love the game so yeah we have the first wave combiner Second wave combiner, and it looks great. I mean, <laughs> it's just an abomination, but still, <laughs> I love this. <laughs> so yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. <laughs> I mean, it's cool that they have the same the same height. I guess uh, the uh, the first wave is a little bit bulkier, but they still have the same size. So I'm guessing maybe these are a little bit uh, bulkier, uh, bigger. But uh, yeah, really cool. Otherwise. <sighs> I don't have much else to say. I'm gonna uh, pick that up at seertoys.com. I'm gonna put the link in the description below the video. If you're interested, go and buy it. It's just a really fun toy. I mean, <laughs> it's, I mean, the connection in transform uh, combined mode is not super tight, especially at the shoulder and the boots. As you saw, they fell off. But then again, the first uh, wave uh, robot also had a weaker, uh, weak combination connection, especially for the head which mine I dropped and broke, but it's fixed now, so it's cool. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So uh, <laughs> like I said, seertoys.com, link in the description, go and buy it. It's just, <laughs> it's just fun. So yeah, you know the song, like, subscribe, leave a comment, blah, blah, blah. And I thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.